All right, students, we are making GIFs today. I'm going to show you how to make a multi-layered Photoshop document that when we save for web will turn into a GIF file. You'll notice that I've got one layer already working. It's an image that I found online of Gothic architecture. And the idea was I was going to make a bunch of X's and check marks over top of the surface of this animated uh, like they're being drawn. And I think I am going to also increase the complexity by zooming in on this scene as those check marks and X's are being made. So there's a lot going on. And I have an action organizer that you guys have as well that is uh, going to help me organize and just keep track of on which frame what action that I've taken. So I'm going to be making three check marks and conversely three axes. I'm also going to be making a zoom in. So there's four different animated actions that I'm going to be doing per frame and uh, those will have to all be assembled carefully. To begin with, I'm going to make a new layer that'll go over top of this background layer. So down in this white square with the little folded over corner, it says create a new layer and I have layer two ready to go. So I'm going to start naming this check mark Two, sorry, check marks one, and then I'm going to have another one that's going to be uh, X's over top of that, and then more check marks, and then more X's, etc. So this will be all my first check marks on one layer. And I'm going to use a special brush today. Usually, when you use the brush tool, and you you'll automatically go to the default brushes, and you'll get either a hard edge brush or a soft edge brush. Sometimes they have um, funky brushes down here. Um, you can explore what those look like. I'm just going to go to the dry media brushes and I've already selected this soft oil pastel brush. You can hover over these brushes to basically ask Photoshop what they mean or what they are. So I'm going to stick with that and I'm going to increase my size a bit. Let's see. Yeah, we'll go with that. So, so it'll be important for you to make sure that each of your process layers are separate before you merge them into what we'll name frame one or frame two or frame three as part of the animation. Just to give myself a little, little bit more room in the layers palette, I'm going to close this effects menu by double clicking up there. And let's start drawing. So starting with uh, black, I'm going to go over top of, actually starting with this gray. So this little arrow switches between foreground and background colors. X, as you can see, uh, is the shortcut to achieve that. So you can either click on this little arrow or you can press X on your keyboard quickly. And this white right now, I'm going to actually turn into this um, this kind of light gray here so that when I uh, draw on it, it'll at least kind of blend into the background a little bit more than, than white will. So Control Z to undo. So uh, let me start my check marks. I'll put uh, one here one here and one here. I'm going to do them all at the same time just because it's going to confuse me uh, if I try to do anything um, where they're varied in, in when they get uh, applied. So that's my first check marks uh, layer. And what we're seeing on our in our canvas area here is what I hope to be the very first frame. Now it's still separated into different layers but that's fine. We need to keep it separated for the moment because we'll need to duplicate layer one separately and uh, also check marks one. We need to duplicate this and modify it. So you can right click and say duplicate layer. It'll ask you what the layer name should be. I'm going to keep it as check marks one copy. And with check marks one copy, uh, Right now, it's not visible. You see it adds a little bit more, but we're not going to be able to see both at once when the whole thing animates. So we should turn that off and the visibility off. And checkmarks, checkmark one copy. Uh, actually, let's rename that to checkmarks uh, two, or second stroke, basically. And I'm going to add to these now. So continuing from where I left off, I'm going to add a little bit more here, a little bit more here. So you can see that the first frame is it strokes down and then uh, the 
second frame is going to be it scrawling its way up to complete the check mark. And I'm going to duplicate this layer again. And duplicating layers in this layers palette can be a little tedious if you're right clicking and doing this all the time. So what I'd uh, what I'd prefer is if you guys learn the shortcut, which is if you hold down Control and Alt simultaneously and drag one of these layers, you'll notice that it no longer just tries to reorder it, it tries to duplicate it. There's two little arrows there. So I just push up from itself and you'll see the check marks three copy and you can double click on that word and press four. Okay, so in check marks three, I haven't yet modified that one. I need to increase the uh, scratch up there and on check marks four, actually that's an old old layer now. That was a duplicate of check marks three. I'm actually trying to build off of check marks three. So let me duplicate that using the control alt at the same time and drag up from the layer here. And I'm going to continue working on on that now. Let me just turn visibility off of that. Check mark, check mark, check mark. Okay. So I've got my first set of uh, of actions that have occurred. I'm going to I'm just going to duplicate layer one for a second. I'm going to call this safety. I'm going to lock it because I always want to. I just want to make sure that I have this safe, and I'm going to make it invisible. I'm going to now show you how to merge this background layer with each of those checkmark layers. Okay, and I'm going to uh, duplicate this so that I can increase the size of it. So using the move tool, I'm going to start pulling it out and I want to have it zoom from its center, not from the bottom left corner. So I need to hold alt as I as I drag this out from the from the edge. So I'm going to make it a quite a slow zoom. So that's going to be my second action. So layer one copy and then let me just zip that up again. Hold Alt, increase the size a little bit more, and I need one last one. So I'm holding Alt, Control, I drag this up, and this copy three. We're going to start resizing it, but hold down Alt while you're resizing it to increase the size of it beyond what it was before. Okay, so let's test that out. If I turn, turn the visibility off of this layer, I can see the layer below it is smaller. And the layer below that is smaller, and the layer below that is smaller. Okay, so bigger, bigger, bigger. Slowly, it's going to zoom in while these are getting, uh, getting shown. So let's intersperse these where they belong, where I'm going to merge them to. So layer one, copy three is going to get merged with check marks three. Copy two with check mark check marks three. Copy one with check marks two layer one with check marks one. So the way you merge is you hold control to select multiple layers. You right click and you say merge layers. This is another way to do it. Control on this, go up to layer and merge layers or control E. Okay, so you're going to merge this one with this one. Control, control E to merge them. Click, control click. Control E to merge those ones. So I'm beginning to get a um, each of the frames, and I'm going to rename these to frame. Let's see, four, frame three, frame two, and it is important that you rename these. <sighs> so that you can stay organized because it could get easily confusing. So I'm going to leave those as uh, as the frames, uh, frame one, two, three, four. And just so you guys can see what this looks like, when you go to file and save for web, this is the way you get to create the GIF. So you first thing you do is you click on animate and it shows that original image that you can see my safety image even though it's invisible right now it still gets included in that as a layer in the uh, in your animation and you make sure this is looping you can change how fast it it goes by the frame delay so 
the number of seconds per frame. Uh, right now at 0.2 you're only doing 5 frames per second. So let's do it at 0.1. Let's see how that looks. And in order to see how it goes, you don't have to save it yet. Just preview it here in this bottom area. So that's what it's looking like at the moment. Uh, that might be a little too fast for me, actually. So let me uh, change that to back to 2. Preview it. Yeah, I mean it's okay. Um, I don't. I'm not exactly happy with it. But you guys, you guys will be doing your own creative thing. This is just to show you how it works. So let's continue with it.